What's going on YouTube? Today's mega slow bro. For our overview videos, we are going to uh, take a look at this bulky monster here. If you find this video informative, please leave a like button. It really does help. Now, of course, when Mega Slowbro Mega Evolves, or when regular Slowbro Mega Evolves, he actually keeps his Water Psychic typing, which is good. Very good defensive typing there. And he gains the ability Shell Armor. Shell Armor prevents all critical hits from happening. So, while that's the type of ability that you would never notice happening, uh, because you it's not like the crit happens and then it goes, but it was blocked or anything like that. You just would never sustain a crit as Mega Slowbro. So, that makes Mega Slowbro relatively difficult to break through. Uh, we see massive boost to his defense and even to a lesser extent his special attack his defense going up to 180 is amazing for mega slowbro uh even uninvested in defense he's going to be hitting really really high numbers with his defense and of course uh, a lot of builds are going to be playing with those numbers trying to hit certain uh stats with their living but i believe uninvested with a base 180 defense is going to put him at around 200 220, 215 defense at least. Uh, and that's on the, on par with several legendary Pokemon. So that's kind of amazing. Um, the boost of his special attack is going to be enough to make him so that he doesn't necessarily need to invest in special attack either in order to deal damage. So Mega Slowbro, especially with Water Psychic Stab that he's working with, is going to be a force to reckon with. And that's something a lot of teams should take into account. You need to bring a way to deal with Mega Slowbro. Uh, if you don't, it will just wall your entire team and there won't be anything that you can do about it. Now, a lot of things that Mega Slowbro can do are going to be similar to what regular Slowbro can do. Uh, one specific thing that's uh, unique to, to regular, uh, that's unique to Mega Slowbro is going to be the idea of Crowbro that we saw on Suicune or Crocoon having rest, calm mind, and sleep talk, and then a single special attacking move in Slowbro's case and in Suicune's case now is going to be Scald. Uh, this can be circumvented in a number of ways just by bringing something that has water absorb or storm drain or uh, just something that doesn't take that much damage from water type attacks. But with rest and calm mind to keep it healthy, that means you can't toxic it to, to take it out. So you're basically relegated to phasing it out. So those are a couple of ways to deal with that. Just bring either, of course, taunt can stop the rest and calm mind and sleep talk, whereas roar or dragon tail can completely phase it out of battle, which will make it lose the boost that it has accrued. Another role that we might see uh, make a slow roll take is just the idea of a special tank. Even with the modest nature uh, and invested in special attack, of course, and HP, he can then use slack off to get his HP back and still not take very much damage from physical attacks while uh, being an offensive threat to anything trying to switch in to do damage to it. Now, since he is using his special attack, that 130 base special attack will actually be hurting quite bad. Uh, so you'll you'll need to figure out if he has Psychic or Psy Shock. That way you can deal with it appropriately. Of course, Psy Shock is generally more popular. So physical walls that can take water moves may be a little bit more helpful there. But since Steel gets hit by Skull neutrally, and of course Fire Blast super effective, it's very difficult to switch things in to hit Slowbro with. Now the other role that you're going to see Mega Slowbro with a lot is just going to be a Trick Room setter. Uh, he's probably the bulkiest Trick Room user in the game. And with Trick Room up, he can then proceed to outslow or outspeed, since he's now faster under Trick Room, just about everything in the game. Uh, and so with a base speed of 30, he's going to be moving first for the next five turns. And that can be a little bit difficult to deal with. Uh, so whether you... Um, are facing Psychic or Psy Shock, that will kind of change how you're going to deal with it. His base special defense is still 80, so that's not um, amazing. It is above average, uh, but for special defense, you're definitely going to have an easier time taking him out by hitting him on the specially defensive side. Granted, most Mega Slowbro will probably be invested in special defense to shore up their ability to take hits on that side. Now, if you figure out that you're not facing a Crocoon or a Crowbro in this case, Toxic is going to be one of the best ways to deal with it, whether it's manually using Toxic or setting up Toxic Spikes. And if you are facing a Crowbro, Taunt will help out a lot. Powerful special attacks from the likes of something like a Specs Chandelure or a uh, Specs um, Galvantula, which are popular leads to use, will be able to, they won't one hit KO him, 
but they will put him in a range where he will have to recover. And you can either hit them, hit him again, or force him out. He can take more entry hazard damage. Things like that will be more useful there. Now, if you are able to uh, incapacitate make a slow row into a point to where it has to recover, that's a good chance to set up some uh, some calm minds of your own to take its attack better. Or if, of course, you want to set up something a little bit more offensive, like a Dragon Dance type Pokemon or something like that. If you can force it to recover, then setup sweepers can definitely handle Mega Slowbro. They can't crit it, but they can raise their stats, their offensive stats high enough so that they can take it out. It's very difficult to one hit KO, but if you can at least two hit KO it, especially with some entry hazard damage, then it can be manageable. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, unaware whether it be Quagsire or Clefable, uh, with special note for Quagsire just because he can get water absorb, um, or unaware, so unaware you don't have to worry about the Calm Mine, Water Absorb, you don't have to worry about the Scald if he's running the Crowbro set. But meanwhile, Clefable doesn't care if it gets burned by Scald, uh, and of course if it's running Calm Mine, it ignores those boosts completely and it can still hit it back, um, and Clefable uninvested can still operate underneath Trick Room because it's not that fast, so a couple of ideas there as well. Slowbro actually gets uh, a host of moves through Move Tutors and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Unfortunately, a lot of them are more physically oriented moves, but that being said, he does get access to weird moves such as Iron Defense and Icy Wind and Water Pulse. So you may see those every now and then. I shudder to think if you have nothing left but physical attackers and Omega Slowbro uses Iron Defense and you have no way to phase it out or toxic it, that's, that's basically the game because it can't be critical hit. So you have no way to break through that defensive wall at that point. Now some good partners for Mega Slowbro are going to be things that keep the momentum going. Uh, bulky, stally type Pokemon um, that aren't that fast are typically going to lose momentum for you. So Pokemon that can bounce in and out to Mega Slowbro and then provide that switching momentum can help keep the battle moving in your favor. Uh, Pokemon like Landorus are really good partners just because Slowbro resists the moves that they're weak to such as Ice Beam and also Water type moves. Landorus, of course, can come in, weaken their physical attacks, then you turn out and go out in the Slowbro, or set up entry hazards, which makes Pokemon more susceptible to a moose that Slowbro might be using. Uh, meanwhile, other fast fighting types are great Pokemon for Slowbro to be paired with, just because they are almost literally at the other end of the spectrum. Not only are they the opposite typing of Slowbro being fighting types, so they're hitting different Pokemon, uh, but also they're fast. So Pokemon like Terrakion or Mean Xiao that can use close combat or high jump kick and hit faster threats are going to be good partners just because they help break down things in order for Mega Slowbro to either wall easily or um, for Mega Slowbro to set up on. And finally, uh, grass and fire types are good partners just because they form that great water, grass, fire core. Uh, Heatran and Amoongus get special mentions here uh, because Amoongus, of course, is the perfect counterpart for Slowbro being weak to psychic type attacks and fire, which of course, uh, Verizion kind of does the same thing there. Uh, they Slowbro complements that very, very nicely. And of course, Amoongus gets Regenerator. Um, it reminds me of the Regenerator cores that we saw back in fifth gen, where Slowbro and Amoongus would be together, or or Slowbro and Audino, or Wish Chansey, things that can recover their HP, and they also have uh, the ability to resist different defensive bits from their partner. Um, and of course, Heatran remains a good Pokemon to use, not only because it can perform a variety of roles such as setting up entry hazards, but it, here with Mega Slowbro on the field, Heatran could assume a more offensive role, of course, and whether it's Scarfed or one of the trapping uh, Heatrans or something like that, can be very, very difficult to deal with. So Mega Slowbro opens up a lot of opportunities for other Pokemon to do different things or be more flexible just because Mega Slowbro is so versatile. Uh, be uh, especially mindful, Mega Slowbro is, I can't really dote on how defensive he is without even any investment. Um, even something like a strong jaw boosted crunch from a Sharpedo fully invested in attack only has a 6% chance of KOing a Mega Slowbro. And then the moment Mega Slowbro invests anything in its defense, then Mega Sharpedo cannot one hit KO Mega Slowbro with a strong jaw boosted crunch. So that's one of the more powerful dark moves in the game. 
uh, off of Mega Sharpedo's base 140 attack and the strong jaw boost and the stab. So just think of how little damage other moves like uh, unstab moves or uh, weaker base power moves are going to be doing to him. So I hope you guys prepare for Mega Slowbro because he's definitely going to be used. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you all later. Bye bye now.